Welcome back to Metro Gamer Sound Sounds Apprentice. Back with some more Hero Factory slash uh, what? Hero Factory slash Bionicle mocks. And so last episode I gave you a teaser of my next mock and it was this guy. And so he did have that hat. Um I changed up the way it attaches so it's a lot more simple just because that worked out better. This is the best angle. And no, that's not a beard. That's supposed to be like a mouth cover. That would be hilarious as a beard though. That would look hilarious, yeah. Okay, <laughs> right, but I just copped out just because this was the best way to get a good angle and it wasn't flopping about. I just copped out and attached it like from the spec thing. But this also does have one pro that I will, well actually no, it has a few pros that I will get into later. Um, so I have two mocks today, so I'm gonna save the best one for the last. And so, yeah, so the ice guy I made you, um, uh, last video, or last set of few videos, because I'm stupid, um, <laughs> he, I can't speak. At the end, I gave a terrible explanation of, like, the story behind it. And I'll get into that back part later. And it's a story behind it. And so I said that. Okay, so now that um, his partner died, he's just became like he's gone mad. So this is him. He's like a bounty. So now he's like a bounty hunter dude. He just lost all grip of reality. He's ruthless. So yeah. So um, let's talk about the build now. So obviously, I'm really like how I use that piece, and it is the only gunmetal grave major. Like I think that I know. Of. Probably, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's the only gunmetal gray piece uh, on this whole build, but I still like love the shape that it makes, and I think it's a really cool idea. And then, so I have all of these pieces. I did introduce blue into into his color scheme, so he has a few blue panels, few white, mostly white panels still though. Um, he has the same mask, which I'll get into in a second. And then I replaced the white. Um, Hero Factory Breakout chest piece, chest piece with the Brain Attack chest piece just because I thought it was better over here. So instead of having the shield as weapons, they're just part of his arms now. I just decided to do that. And just because now that, like, the main problem with doing this is that uh, his arm is exposed and looks really spindly. So I, that's why I use the trans blue uh, over there just to make it feel like I actually cared. <laughs> so. Um, leg construction, those, that whole construction is really simple. So, I, now I use more brickling pieces, so these katanas, or whatever you want to call them, on the side of him, on, like, by his hips. So, one of them was from, I already had, from Ferno XL, which Ferno XL only came with one of them. So, I got another one, so now I have two of those in silver, which is nice to have. Yeah, so, he has two swords if he needs them, and then he also has the cape, like, around his waist, I think, around that area. Wait, I actually forgot how I attached that. Yeah, it's around his waist, so, if I turn him around, he has this back panel due to the way the hat's attached, and also he has this, and he also has waist function, but I don't really care about that. Like, it's nice to have waist articulation, but, like, yeah. Uh, so here's his cape, the Ferno XL cape, and, yeah, so... Let me actually show you something about him, which if I bring this closer to here. Uh, so if we take off his chest piece, you can see how this is attached. I really don't like the side view of his chest, because side profile of his chest, which I'll get into in a second. Uh, Wait, uh, yeah, which, um, so this piece, you don't have to take this whole assembly off, just that one armor add on. So, if we do that, then just put this back in here, which I will. Anyway, so now I took that piece armor add on off, and now I got uh, his chest back on, and by the way, side profile. Um, it doesn't look as bad and gappy as it used to be just because I added in those katanas, but actually no, it's still pretty bad and gappy. And as you can see, I have his legs like bent forward just, pe just to fill out this giant hole over here. Like, this is how it looks like if you would normally do it. And this whole uh, front piece is just hanging like miles in front of his actual legs. So that's annoying, but whatever, what are you gonna do? So if we can turn him around, and you don't want all of his like things um you can attach this here and a pro of having his hat on a ball joint is uh, you can also uh, because on sissy ball joints you can rotate it around 
and he'll he'll have his hat on his back. Okay, so here he is from the front without the thing on it, and he looks fine. He's not like amazing. I just he's pretty cool. So as you can see on his for his head, he's the same head as I said because they're the same character. Um, so I actually should. So that's it. Um, he does have a weird physique, at least in person. And I think part of the reason is uh, the torso is a bit lower and so that you can have the the mouth cover. And because also because of the mouth cover, there's another plate around his neck. So it gives him a lot more bulky of her, bulky of her, bulkier of a neck. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at him. Of hit with that. Never mind. You'll see. So, here he is with his blades. He looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, I kind of imagine him as like a bounty hunter, so like, yeah. Okay, so, uh, this figure's pretty cool, but I have something that I think is cooler. <laughs> this guy's so cool. Boom. So, let's take a look at his head first, and... Head first. Hey, so his head is a combination of custom ish and a mask. So he has a mask, but attached to it, his head has to move like this because the way it's made, it's attached to this part, this whole assembly, and it's also attached to that bone. So yeah, um, this is him, and I love how I. Okay, so I really like what I do with the chest, and this was inspired, kind of inspired by the one of the last mocks so from another video for like i think my last big showcase so he has this black tire in the center of him and then he has these shoulder pads uh, he also has a ton of armor around his chest he has shoulder pads which go down trans main color scheme is a bit of black obviously as given with ccbs um gunmetal gray trans orange and Red, red. So he does have a custom hand, sort of, yeah. So he does have this small hand in black. So um, let's lay him down. Yeah, small hand in black. And so I took that, added these two good and gray claws to it. And then I gave him a thumb. So this is his thumb. And if you really wanted him to hold something, I guess you could just turn this over and put something in there or, like, in here. Or, actually, you could put something in here, this pinhole, and have it his thumb, like, I don't know, wrap around it, but it wouldn't look very good. <laughs> well, actually, no, I haven't tried it, and I don't plan on trying it. How would this look? No. No. <laughs> actually, can you make a fist? Let's see. On camera now. You're seeing it here. No, he cannot make a fist. No. 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 Okay, so, <laughs> um... Look at his body construction. So he has two bodies connected together. So one's a wide torso and one's a thin torso. Yeah, thin torso. So I have the wide torso with this is where his arms connect. Yeah, move that down. So I have this armor piece over here and on his knees. Uh, I can't, yeah, that, 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 that. Okay, <laughs> I don't know why I said that so much. Okay, so that's where his head's attached. And then over here, I can't put armor here because of the tire and i don't have the that one piece i can't name it the, blah. okay <laughs> so i had these pieces i really like the way this came out because these fill in this like go with the rounded shape really nicely really nicely is that a proper thing to say i think that is anyway so i covered these ball joints just by plugging in hands so I guess very creative. Okay, but like whatever. So I uh, I used the chest part, like the chest ball joint, to attach this piece, and then I got this piece as like a skirt where I attached to that to the head ball joint. And then for the, where the arms when we go on the sm small torsos, I attached his legs. So let's get into his legs. So. Top of his leg, okay, so his upper half of his legs are just basic stuff. Two of the shortest length of upper body joint, joints, um, upper limb joints. So one has this these chest pieces on it. 
And then another has this these kneecaps with the uh, trans orange and armor. And then over here, I got these giant red limbs. I think this is the longest CCBS limb. And then I attached this red piece to it. And then I watched, I, I had this Bigfoot with claws on it. And yeah, so I really like this guy. I think he's pretty cool. And I'm going to destroy him. So. so let's get into the last part of this video. If you could see my room right now, it would be a mess with Legos all over <laughs> everywhere. So, yeah, so I'm trying to sort my Hero Factory things. Like, yeah, so here are all the drawers which I took out. So I'm about to sort them after this video. That's why I made this thing so I could just destroy those guys. Uh, that's basically why I make all of my videos, <laughs> which isn't a very good motivation. So actually, one of these big drawers I have out in the lego place because i'm currently putting pieces into it but yeah so i got this storage unit uh here's it next to my hand but i have like a little person hand so it doesn't really make matter for most people <laughs> so he has like 20 of those small drawers and then six of these big drawers so i might not have enough big drawers but whatever i'll put in what i can and i won't be able to fit everything in here for example, these pieces. Yeah, no way. These are too big. Like, these are massive. <laughs> Anyways, so, but aside from that, I have pretty much enough space for everything. Well, not everything, actually. I probably won't even have. But, like, for most of the important stuff. So, I'll just give you an example of what I'm doing. If I look in this top drawer, it's... It's stuck. That's what it is. 